Hello, YouTube universe. Thanks for stumbling upon this uh, post. Uh, I have here a Kona guitar that I bought. Very inexpensive guitar. It was about $120. It's an acoustic electric guitar. And what I like about it is that it has a very thin body. Um, the strings on this guitar are very dead, and I was getting ready to change the strings on a similar guitar. It's a left-handed version of this Kona. Um, so I was getting ready to change these strings, and I decided to look at this guitar and look at these strings and look at the saddle and look at the nut and a couple things I noticed about this guitar. The saddle is cracked and I'll show you that in a minute, but the saddle had, the string has cracked through the saddle all the way almost down to the bridge plate. So the saddle needs to be replaced. And also another thing, let's see if you can see this. I can slide a pick into the bridge plate and there's a space in the bridge plate all the way around the back here. So the bridge plate is actually getting pulled away from the body. Can you see that? So that's not good. That's gonna ruin this guitar. Otherwise the guitar plays fine. I mean, the, the neck and the frets are really good. I mean, really smooth. And, and I get great playing for a thin guitar and for a very cheap hollow guitar, laminate guitar. I mean, it's fun to play. So I wanna save this guitar. As you can see from the dust that has collected under the strings here, I haven't cleaned this guitar in a while. So what I'm gonna do is give this guitar uh, uh, as much of a treatment as a novice like me knows how to give it. I'm going to clean it. I'm going to sand and clamp this down. I'm gonna replace the saddle. Um, I, if I'm gonna do that, I might replace the, the nut and put a bone nut and bone saddle in here and just condition the neck board, condition the, 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 the saddle plate here, and just oil it up, clean everything up, and uh, try to make this $120 guitar play as good as it possibly can. So the next video, I'll just show you a rundown of what I got here and show you a, just a, a video of all the different uh, things that are going wrong with this guitar and the different cleanings that I do. And um, hopefully you can join me with this process. Please comment on things that you would do differently because I don't really know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna be kind of guessing and feeling my way around this. So let me know if there's things that you would do differently um, because that's how we all learn. All right, thanks for watching, I appreciate it and hopefully you look forward to my next post as well. Thanks. thanks for joining me on this journey to fix and get this Kona guitar back in shape. Uh, I'm gonna just take a quick video to show you the goods and the bads and the uglies with this guitar, why I like it and what needs to be worked on and fixed. Um, all in all, for what I paid for this guitar, I've had it for a couple years now, um, like several years, and it's held up very well. So I like the guitar in terms of what you get for what you pay. It has a very thin body to it, which is nice because you could take this guitar and you could, you know, at late at night, you can grab it and play it in bed and it's very easy to play in any position, whether it's, you know, laying down, laying upright, standing, sitting, and any, any different way, the guitar is very easy and very light to maneuver. So I like that aspect of it. It's an electric acoustic, and the electric, the electric, the, the outlet plug um, is, is right there in where you put the guitar strap. And you see that in a lot more expensive guitars. You don't really see it on less expensive guitars, at least in my opinion. So I like that feature of the guitar as well. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I've had this guitar for several years, and all of the you know, bindings and, and um, all, of the, all of the connections and joints seem to be holding up very well with the exception of, of course, the saddle. The saddle is starting to split up and that needs to be repaired, so we'll work on that. But other than the saddle, all of the, all of the, 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 the frets seem very, very good and they, they seem to stay in their binding well. Nothing's, nothing's popping through or, or rough. Um, the neck joint is very good and very tight, very sound, so happy with all of that. Um, inside the guitar with all the bindings there, I'll just kind of flip around this way to show you. There, I don't see a lot of glue overspill. I, I held a light in there earlier and from all like the, the, the side bindings, I don't see a lot of like glue spill out and globs of glue in there. So I guess they took their time where their manufacturing process is such to where they, they, they keep nice tight controls. Um, it's a Kona K28B. So at the sunburst finish on it looks really, really good. I put the Roger Klein um, and the Peacemakers bumper sticker on there. If you don't know them, check them out. I'm a big fan. Um, the, the, the grain on the back is nice. As you can see, it's a, just, just a nice guitar. Um, it is laminate, 
Um, as you can tell from looking at the sound hole, when you look at it, you can kind of see that it's laminate wood. So you're gonna get the tone that you'd expect from a laminate top and a laminate sides, shallow body guitar. You're not gonna get a lot of tone as an acoustic, but we'll play some after we spruce this thing up and uh, no pun intended and um, see how we do. The action on it is not, not great, right? So here we are at the 12th fret and the action is like a skyscraper. So hopefully when we do a new saddle and new nut, we can adjust it. There's a truss rod, so we'll do a truss rod adjustment. Um, and as you can see here, the thing hasn't been cleaned in forever. So the strings are old, the guitar needs a good cleanup, the guitar needs new strings. I'm gonna oil the neck, I'm gonna glue the, the tail piece down, and I'm gonna loosen the strings now. And once I get the strings off, we can get started on fixing the um, tail piece, the, the bridge plate. So um, hopefully you join me. Please uh, leave comments for things that, that you would do differently, but I'm gonna get started by removing the strings. Thanks.